Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, we always do this wrong when we get you here, so I want to make sure everybody waves so everybody can see you back there. That's not Ann. There you go. All right, are we ready? And you got your cheering section down here in the front. Do you see them come in? Okay. It's all yours. the ones you trust the most and you build a wall around your heart to make sure no one else gets close I can feel the air of empty words hope today would work but nothing I could say would change the way you work so I won't say another word I'll show you the cross with Jesus lifted I I'll show you the grave where death was left behind I'll show you a savior who paid the highest cost Show me all your scars and I'll show you the cross If you're on the outside angry and looking in you don't believe that grace could reach you in the places you have been if all you know of truth and love lies and hypocrites then nothing i could say would change the way it is the only thing i can do is live I'll show you the cross with Jesus lifted I I'll show you the grave where death was left behind I'll show you a savior who paid the highest cost Show me all your scars and I'll show you the cross Come as you are, come as you are Broken and bleeding, come as you are, come as you are, and find what you need. And come as you are, come as you are, and if you don't believe it, I'll show you my sins, dead and washed away. I'll show you the grace that led my heart to change. I'll show you a savior who loved when I was lost. Show me all your scars and I'll show you the cross. With Jesus lifted I, I'll show you the grave where death was left behind. I'll show you a savior who paid the highest cost. Show scars and I'll show you the cross show me all your scars and I'll show you the cross show me all your scars and I'll show you the cross Never ceases to amaze me. How old are you? Yeah. <laughs> that is stunning. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yes, we know the heat's not working. But thanks to all of you who pointed that out, keep your jackets handy. Hopefully, we'll get it straightened out on Monday. We are entering into... Uh, a week I would just as soon uh, bypass. Pastor Doug's service will be this coming Saturday at 11. Uh, Phil's service will be next Saturday at 4. And I'm going to come back to that one in a second. And uh, then Walt Miller's service will be the following Saturday, the 28th at 11. 
in the morning. So write, write those down. Now, Phil's uh, service is interesting. I, the family told me, and I, Uncle Phil did not want a service. So to, we're going to try and honor uh, Phil's wishes. Uh, we're not going to have a service. <laughs> After we inter the ashes, we'll have a time of remembrance as we begin worship next Saturday night. <clears throat> which is skating pretty close to a service, but technically not a service. So <laughs> that, that involves you because we're, we're going to ask you to share some Phil stories, right? So uh, the, the, family will be, the family will stay after we inter his ashes in the columbarium, and they will be here for the first part of service, so we'll have uh, a time for you to share uh, Phil stories. So come up with a... Phil story that you can share in polite company, and then we'll <laughs> then we will move forward. So, her services were in Indiana. I know she had moved, and they had done services out. I think it was Indiana that she moved to when we got. So that yeah, that's the only information I had. Well, on Gail. So that. Uh, It is warmer back there. The unit works better in the back. So I understand why you're all sitting back there tonight. So other other oh and we'd like to welcome we have a new band member. John Hammond is playing guitar tonight. Thank you, John. You got a new book, right? And we're all excited about the new format and even if we're not excited, we're going to nod our heads and say, "Yes, we're excited." Okay, good. When you exit worship, return your songbook so we can use them again. And since there's been a vote I, I heard out in the Narthex, next week we'll have the books on the other side so you can return. The, yes, that was, I know, I listen, I listen. We'll, we'll get that squared away, but give us your books back and off we'll go. Anything from the assembly for the sake of good order? Were you standing up with an announcement or are you just stretching your legs? You're waiting. Okay. Anything? What? We have a visitors. Oh, that's right. We're not going to go through the name. Th that's right. We're, we're here as the, the cheering section. I was told you didn't want to stand up and do names. So that you are Joshua's family, yes? And we are so glad you loaned him to us. So thank you for being here. Any other, any other visit? I didn't see anybody else. Okay. Then as you are able, I would invite you please to stand for the brief order for confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who makes all things new, whose mercy endures forever. Trusting in God's mercy as community gathered in this place, we confess our sin. Holy One, source of our renewal, we confess that we are wrapped up in sin and cannot free ourselves. We have not practiced your righteousness. Our hearts have turned away from you. For the sake of the world you so love, forgive us, that we may be reconciled to one another for the glory of your holy name. Amen. Thus says our God, the former things have come to pass and new things I now declare. God's mercy makes us new and we are forgiven in the name of Christ our Savior. Amen. All right, we sing our first newly formatted hymn, Saturday Songbook. That's what SSB stands for, number 42. Oh, 
blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arm. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all Everlasting arms Oh, how bright the path grows From day to day Leading on the everlasting arms Leaning, leaning Safe and secure from all of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit is with you all. Let us pray. Holy God, our strength and our Redeemer, by your Spirit hold us forever that through your grace we may worship you and faithfully serve you, follow you and joyfully find you through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. You may be seated. The first reading is from Isaiah. Listen to me, O coastlands. Pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. And he said to me, you are my servant, Israel in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for nothing, in vanity yet surely my cause is with the Lord, and my reward is with my God. And now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to one deeply despised, abhorred by the nations, the slave of rulers. Kings shall see and stand up, princes, and they shall prostrate themselves because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel who has chosen you. The word of the Lord. We will spoke Psalm 40 responsibly. I waited patiently upon the Lord, who stooped to me and heard my cry. The Lord lifted me out of death and skip out of the miry clay and set, set my feet upon a high cliff, making my footing sure. The Lord put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and stand in awe and put their trust in the Lord. 
Happy are they who trust in the Lord. They do not turn to enemies or to those who follow lies. Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God. In your plans for us, none can be compared with you. Oh, that I could make them known and tell them, but they are more than I can count. And so I said, here I am, I come, in the scroll of the book it is written of me. I love to do your will, O oh my God, your law is deep within me. I proclaimed righteousness in the great assembly. I have not restrained my lips, O oh Lord, you know. You are the Lord. Do not withhold your compassion from me. May your steadfast love and your truth continually keep me safe. A reading from 1 Corinthians. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and our brother Sothosthenes, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to those who are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, together with all those who in every place call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, both their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that has been given you in Christ Jesus. For in every way you have been enriched in him, in speech and knowledge of every kind, just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end, so that you may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful. By him you are called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. the Holy Gospel according to St. John, the first chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and declared, Here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks ahead of me because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but I came baptizing with water for this reason, that he may, might be revealed to Israel. John testified, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it remained on him. I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water said to me, He on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain is the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I myself have seen and have testified that this is the Son of God. The next day, John again was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walked by, he exclaimed, look, here's the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. When Jesus turned and saw them following, he said to them, what are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, Rabbi, where are you staying? And he said to them, come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and they remained with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. One of the two who had heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated anointed. He brought Simon to Jesus, who looked at him and said, 
You are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. You may be seated. Well, last week you had the pleasure of hearing Pastor Jensen preach on the baptism of our Lord. This week, alas, you have me back. For baptism part two, you get two runs at it. This is John's account of the baptism, and it is slightly different in how it's presented and why. Subtle differences in detail and purpose. But isn't that the wonder of Scripture? Same event recorded by different people with different details and different emphases. I am tickled to have the opportunity to explore baptism part two since Amy and I are fresh off of the baptism of Abigail Beatrice. And how like my baptism and I imagine yours or countless others before or since in the midst of chaos, God is present. God is active to accomplish What God purposes. In the midst of confusion and all that stuff of life, God is present and active to accomplish what God purposes. Because at the end of the day, even with our love of good order, it's not about our efforts nor our performance. It is about the presence and activity of God in all the messiness of life. And ooh, isn't that a metaphor for baptism? Take, for instance, young Abigail. Careful and meticulous planning went in to this event. There were three clergy people, two elders, one secretary, two parents, all looking and plotting and planning the perfect baptism. Still, there was a misspelling in the bulletin. Oh, such is life. Even with the error, there was no E on the end of Beatrice. God was present and active to accomplish that which God purposed. The sister and the cousin of the baptizee, four years old, (laughs) so excited to see each other, so excited to take the opportunity to have a grand time before, during, and after the baptism. Now, we are not, by nature, a quiet family. And we do not have particularly quiet offspring, especially when the offspring is four years old and they discovered that leaping from the top step of the chancel down to the nave level where the baptism was taking place was great fun. And so they did that over and over and over Whoa, I was waiting for my part, and there are these children sailing through the air. So I had a decision to make. Corral the children or stick with the baptismal program. I was a guest in these people's congregation, so I thought, well, maybe I could just kind of sidle over and grab the kids, and nobody would notice. You ever tried to baptize a cat? It's about as effective as trying to catch a four-year-old. It just doesn't work, man. They scattered. I couldn't get one of them. So I decided, okay, new plan. I'll just stay with the baptismal program. The organist, God bless her, the organist came out from behind the organ and very gently grabbed these two little kids and just talked to them. I don't know what she said, but they sat down. I was stunned. She's like a little kid whisperer. 
The Presbyterians gathered there in that place were very patient and kind. So I figured I would hum a few bars of the popular children's song, Let It Go, which I was mercifully able to do. In the midst of all of that stuff, God was present and active to accomplish what God purposed. And two four-year-olds had a really good time. Right up until they bumped heads after the baptism following a high-speed collision. Which elicited great weeping and wailing that you could hear throughout that church. But by then, everybody was headed for lunch. The baptizee had eaten and was sound asleep. The family was packed up and heading out. Another little child was a member of God's family, even in the midst of all of that chaos. Or perhaps because of that chaos, God remains present and active to accomplish what God purposes. Don't take my word for it. Come and see. Come and see the people of Rivermont Presbyterian Church who have embraced our son and, grand, our son and daughter-in-law and granddaughters without question. Without qualification, without caveat, come and see a pastor who, I kid you not, used ontological in a children's sermon. That, I wouldn't even try that. I was a philosophy undergraduate, so I kind of perked up. I said, ooh, ontological, the ground of being. This is really interesting. Who uses ontological in a children's sermon? But he did, and it worked. Because he could talk about God speaking creation into being. And suddenly they were enraptured. If you don't want to travel all the way to Chattanooga right here in Metro Crossville, come and see a community gathered to show appreciation to law enforcement members. Just to say we see you and we thank you for what you do. Come and see a cross traced on a newly baptized person's forehead with holy oil. Come and see that cross follow the baptizee throughout their lives. Come and see a cross in burnt palms trace that same route every Ash Wednesday, which is coming up, by the way, mark your calendars. Come and see the newly baptized learn to make the sign of the cross and remember that baptismal covenant. Come and see the sign of the cross traced one last time over casket or ashes. Because from font to niche, from cradle to grave, the cross follows us throughout life. What a perfect song for Joshua to sing. I'll show you the cross. That cross that follows leads, covers, and reminds, reminds us of the price paid for us, reminds us that we have been sealed with the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever. In that sealing and marking, we are Empowered to let our light so shine. Not that people say, Ooh, aren't you a wonderful person? No. <laughs> let your light so shine so that people will glorify your Father in heaven. In that sealing and marking, we gather not to repay God, but to begin a lifetime of saying thanks be to God. Come and see is what Jesus told the curious disciples. Where are you staying? What are you doing? Why did he call you Lamb of God? What's all this stuff mean? And the answer to all of those grand theological questions, come and see. Come and see Jesus at work. At rest, at play, at worship, at ministry. Come and see a community gather. 
Community called and spoken into being. Community created in the waters of baptism. Blessed with holy oil. Community gathered in and then sent out to be community for others, with others, to others. Come and see. Come and taste. Come and touch. Come and hear. Come and receive. The Lamb of God at this table. Come and encounter the lamb at the font. Come and give thanks for the lamb as we gather at the columbarium. And recall the word of God and the words of God. Come and see. I was amazed last Sunday, and it was truly a gift, not just to be asked to baptize my granddaughter, but as my my new family to the south stood to recite the creed, right? the, the universal words of baptism, the words where we call our baptism to mind. They used words that I remember from somewhere deep in my brain, words like fence, wince, and Jesus coming to judge the quick and the dead. Yeah. 55 years just bled away and I was transported back to a far, far different place where people were community for me when I didn't have a clue what that meant. People like Bernard and Dorothy Trexler, people like Bob and Ann Kuhn, Alma Barkshard, my first grade Sunday school teacher, and Aaron and Myrna Gross, my parents. People who were community to love and embrace me and then send me out so that you and I could be community here. How are we supposed to be community today? Who can we invite in? Come and see. Come and taste. Come and experience the wonder of of community and the gift of baptism. Amen. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Light for the world to see. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the dark. Christ be our light, shine in in our church, gather today. Longing for peace, our world is troubled. Longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light. Shine in your church, gather today. Longing for food. Many are hungry, longing for water, many still thirst. Make us your bread, broken for others, shed until all are fed. Christ, be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light, shine in your church, gather today. 
Longing for shelter, many are homeless. Longing for warmth, many are cold. Make us your building, sheltering others. Walls made of living stone. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church. the people, many the hearts that yearn to, to belong. Let us be servants one, one to another, son of your, your kingdom come. Christ be our light, shine in your hearts, shine through the dark. Together with the whole church, we confess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, <clears throat> Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. Called together to follow Jesus, we pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. Put a new song in the mouth of your church. Inspire the baptized to tell of your faithfulness, sharing the good news of your salvation throughout the earth. Bless the witness of missionaries, especially David Brondos, merciful God. The waters of baptism call us into life in the Spirit. Preserve the world's waters, protect them from pollution, support plants and animals who depend on them. Bring rain in places of drought. Guide us in protecting local waterways and in responding to devastating floods. Merciful God. In Jesus, you are the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Show your mercy to all nations, direct leaders to do your will. Fill governing bodies with righteousness, equip judges with discernment and compassion. Merciful God. You incline your ear to all who cry to you. Draw near to individuals and communities suffering violence, injustice, illness, and poverty. We continue to lift up and pray for the people of Ukraine and Afghanistan. Hide all who are in need in the shadow of your hand and make us signs of your faithfulness. We continue to pray for Betty A, Don B, Sherry B, Ruby C, David F, Bill H, Lowell K, Pastor Joe, Vicki S, Kathy W, Larry W. Merciful God, you are glorified in the servants you have called. With Martin Luther King Jr., give us bold trust in you, even when it feels like a sharp sword or polished arrow. Give us courage to receive your call to repentance and racial justice. Merciful God. 
We pray for this nation, our President Joseph Biden, Tennessee's Governor Bill Lee, Cumberland County Mayor Alan Foster, and all those who serve and protect us, merciful God. In every time and place, you have sanctified your people. We praise you for the testimony of those who have died in the faith. Doug McGinn, Walt Miller, Phil Tenney, Gail Burroughs. Strengthen us as we wait for the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Merciful God. Brothers and sisters, I invite you to lift silently now before God's throne of grace those prayers, those concerns, those celebrations which you carry in your lives this day. We bring to you our needs and our hopes, O God. We entrust our prayers to you, prayers uttered aloud, prayers offered silently, prayers for which we have no words. Trusting your wisdom and power revealed in the crucified Christ. Amen. If you are able, I invite you please to stand. Peace of the risen Christ is with you always. I invite you to share that peace with one another. pray. Liberating God, you break the bonds of injustice and let the oppressed go free. 
receive these offerings and thanksgiving for all your works of merciful power. Shape us as people of your justice and freedom. You we magnify and adore through Jesus our Savior. Amen. The night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks. Broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup. He gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. We pray together the prayer which our Lord taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Come and taste the joy of God. Thanks be to God. You may be seated. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy. sin of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sin of the world grant us peace grant If you are communing in your pews, I would remind you that the words you hear spoken at this altar are spoken also for you. The body of Christ is given for you. The blood of Christ is shed for you. Body of Christ given for you. That your baby boy would someday walk on water Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you know this child that you delivered shall sing
we thank you for the healing that springs forth abundantly from this table. Renew our strength to do justice, love kindness, and journey humbly with you. Amen. The God who faithfully brings forth justice and breaks the oppressor's rod, bless, strengthen, and uphold you today and always. Amen. Hard work, our hands working together, building a future, repairing the world, raising our bold, planting new gardens, feeding the hungry and sheltering the cold. Bless God, our hands as we work in your name, sharing the good news of your gospel. God's work our feet, traveling together, following Jesus to places unknown, walking as friends, marching for freedom, running the race with God's future, the goal. Bless God our feet as we follow your way, sharing the good news of your God. at work in and around us, feelings are sprouting and bread's on the rise, washed and set free, humble and honored, 
received and by grace we respond in God's love. Bless God our lives as we answer your call, sharing the good news of the gospel. People of Christ Lutheran Church, who are we? Christ Lutheran Church is a caring community of the baptized people of God, saved by the gift of grace, empowered by the Holy Spirit, and sent into the world to share the good news of God's love. Go in peace. Follow the way of Jesus. Thanks be to God. And turn in those books. <laughs>